Hello pilots of the internet and welcome to Power Up. In this video I'm taking this here pizza box, Pizza Hut not a sponsor, and turning it into an infinity wing. If you're not familiar with what that is, it is basically the coolest airplane you have ever seen. And ever since I have been aware of infinity wings, I have wanted to try to make one and fly it with a Power Up 4.0. So we're gonna do that today. Might as well get to it. All right, as you can see, we have a finished Infinity Wing, and I have to say, I am in love with the way this turned out. You can see, obviously, it's got a bottom wing and a top wing, but it also has this really cool kind of oval shape between the two wings as well, and that is what attracted me to this design to begin with. Now, I think the trick to making this fly is probably going to be finding the correct placement of the center of gravity, and for that reason, I've designed it so that I can really easily slide the power-up module forward and backwards to adjust the center of gravity. So I've never flown anything like this before, but I am really excited to get out to the field and give it a try. Let's get to it. Okay, well, I've set this up so that the module is about as far back as it can go uh, to give it a rear center of gravity just for the first flight, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right. There's so much lift being generated at the rear of the plane that I really have to actually move the center of gravity back. So I'm going to make a few adjustments really quick and try to get it back up in the air. What is the deal, Rach? Tell me, what are the aerodynamics at play here? Is it something to do with the wings? Are they too heavy? I don't think it's a weight issue. Could be. Can you say that other part again? I I don't. I'll I'll do voice. No, the part about me being right. <laughs> I think my wife was right and that the plane is too heavy. And she's really enjoying that fact. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the real genius behind the operation. Yes, indeed. Just for a bit of context, our eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper here is weighing in at five grams. So that's the typical weight of a paper airplane. And our infinity wing is weighing in around 22 grams, and that's even after I removed a bit of weight. It was at 25 grams before I started fiddling with it at all. So you can see this is more than four times as heavy as our typical paper airplane would be. So obviously weight is going to be an issue here. And then beyond that, we have some other problems. You can see I have this tail fin that's supposed to give it some vertical stabilization, but I had to scoot my module so far back that the uh, module was needing to push into the tail so I cut out this little section here in order to be able to slide the module back there but of course that weakens the structure and 
then the propellers will hit the tail fin unless it is literally perfectly centered. So basically, this just is not the right design. So with those problems in mind, I'm going to create a second aircraft that's hopefully lighter, doesn't have the central tail fin, and will just fly better overall. So with the magic of editing, that will be here in three, two, one. All right, now that we have weighed in Mark II, I think all that's left to do is take this out to the field and give it its maiden voyage. And I have to say, I am optimistic that shedding that extra weight is going to get us there and that this is gonna fly really well. Let's see what happens. It kind of looks like a floating turtle. Floating turtle. Uh, next time I turn, it's gonna fall. We'll make it go higher before you turn. I'm trying. I'm giving you full thrust. Oh my gosh! Barely. Ah. Now, honestly, the Mark II was flying really pretty well. That first flight was over two minutes long but it is still struggling to climb a little bit. So with the power of editing, we are going to very quickly remove just a little bit more weight from this and make a third version that I think will be the perfect design. Three, two, one. Okay, so here you can see the Mark III, which looks just like the Mark II, but I cut away some of the cardboard and replaced that with paper that was also in the pizza box. And now this went down from 15 grams to 11 grams. And I think with that decrease in weight, we are going to be able to climb as high as we want to go. So let's get this thing up in the air and see how it flies. Well, it definitely did take some time to get here, but I have to say Mark III is an absolute success. This thing will fly exactly as high as I wanna take it, and I think it just looks absolutely stunning. So I will not be throwing this pizza box away. I will be adding this plane to my permanent collection with the intention of flying it again. So thank you all so much for watching this video, and good luck flying your own planes with the PowerUp 4.0. I'll see you next time.